Hi, I am Abhira Patil, an educator on Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy by downloading the Unacademy learning app where you can find my other courses as well. In this video, we will look at some questions on one word substitution words beginning with the alphabet K. So please rate to be on this video. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our Unacademy YouTube channel. The subscribe button is just below. Our video is titled Quiz Test Your Knowledge and you are watching this with me Abhira Patil. This is a link to my Unacademy profile so you can go to this link to watch my other courses as well as follow me on Unacademy. If you like this video then please do rate, review, recommend and share it. Now in this quiz we will look at questions on one word substitution words beginning with K. I am hoping that you all have gone through part 1 and part 2 of uh, the K category and that will enable you to answer all the questions in this quiz. So let's start the quiz. Let's look at the first question which is A small shelter for dogs. Options are shed, sty, nest or kennel. So the answer for this question is D. Kennel, a small shelter for dogs. A shed is a roofed structure for storage or used as a workshop. It is also used for sheltering animals such as cows and buffaloes. I'm sure you must have seen a shed in a farm. Sty is where pigs live, so a pig sty. Nest is for birds. So the answer is D. Kennel or small shelter for dogs. Next is a funeral bell. Options are chime, clang, knell or boom. So the answer for this question is C, knell, a funeral bell or a bell which is rung slowly to announce a death. Chime is our wind chime. So these are uh, hung at our houses or offices. Uh, they have tubular structures and when wind blows, they make a pleasant sound. So chime. Clang is a loud sound and boom is also a loud sound. In comic strips, you must have read that if there's an explosion, then there's a cloud which says boom, right? So the answer is C, knell or funeral bell. Next is a school for four to six year old children. Options are crash, kindergarten, daycare or both A and C. So the answer for this question is B, kindergarten, a school for four to six year old children to prepare them for primary school. Crash is a place where parents drop off their kids when they go off to work and these kids are taken care of by the people who are employed at this crash and the daycare center is also same uh, where kids are dropped off and uh, when their parents go off for work and they are picked up by their parents after their work is done. So answer for this question is B. Kindergarten. Next is a government by the worst citizens. Options are monarchy, anarchy, cacistocracy or none. So the answer for this question is C. Cacistocracy, a government by the worst citizens or the least suitable citizens. Monarchy is a government by a ruler such as the king or the queen. Anarchy is the state of society without government or law. It also means a state of disorder due to uh, lawlessness. So the answer for this question is C. Cacistocracy. Next is a traditional Japanese robe with long sleeves. Options are bathrobe, house coat, sweater or kimono. Quite an easy one. The answer for this question is quite evident. It's D. Kimono. A traditional Japanese robe with long sleeves. Bathrobe is a robe that you wear after and before a bath. House coat is a long coat that you wear at home. And sweater is the garment that saves us from cold, our normal sweater. So the answer for this question is D. Kimono. Next is, take someone away illegally by force or deception. Options are kidnap, abduct release or both A and B. So the answer for this question is both A and B. Kidnap and abduct are synonyms of each other. When we were defining kidnap, we said that abducting someone 
and holding them captive un until they receive a ransom, right? So kidnap and abduct are synonyms and that's why the answer is both A and B. Release is to release something, to let go of something. Let's look at the next question. A dishonest or unscrupulous person. Options are knight, knave, ken or all. So the answer for this question is B, knave, a dishonest or unscrupulous person. Knight is a mounted soldier and he is given the non-hereditary title of sir because of his merit or service in recognition of that. And Ken is one's uh, area of knowledge or understanding. So answer is B, knave. Next is the main theme of a policy or speech. Options are keynote, note, summary or resume. So the answer for this question is A, keynote, the main theme of a policy or a speech. Note in this context means when you make notes of something like a chapter. Summary is summary writing and resume is resume writing. So the answer for this question is A, keynote, the main theme of a policy or speech or an idea. Next is the inability to refrain from stealing items which are not needed or of little value. Inability to refrain means an urge that you cannot control. So options are arachnophobia, clopmania, kleptomania or both B and C. So the answer for this question is both B and C. Clopmania and kleptomania both mean uh, stealing items which are not needed or of little value and an urge that you cannot control is kleptomania and clopmania. Arachnophobia on the other hand is uh, the phobia of spiders or the irrational fear of spiders. So the answer for this question is both B and C. Do remember clopmania and kleptomania are synonyms of each other. So with this we come to the end of the quiz. I hope you all like the quiz and thank you for taking it. For any questions, suggestions, doubts, feedback, please mention those in the comment section. I will surely get in touch with you through the comment section and if you like this lesson, please do not forget to rate, review, recommend and share it so that more and more people take this quiz and they know where they stand when they are faced with uh, questions on one word substitution and if they are able to answer them well. So I hope you like the lesson and stay tuned for more. Bye.